Section 1, Hot Point Markers. Hot point markers appear as a special cursor any time the cursor is in line with a hot point or a snap point. Various hot point markers are intended to indicate the specific hot point or snap point the cursor is in line with. This helps to quickly and accurately select the point you wish to snap to or to use as a snapping location. As we discuss hot point markers, we're going to go ahead and use CAD to delete the little CAD elements that we had drawn here. And so now we're going to come in, we're going to talk about hot point markers. So we're going to go ahead and use the line tool again. And we're going to zoom in on this cabinet. You can see my cursor. If I move my cursor away from the cabinet where it's not lined up with any smart points and it's not lined up with any hot points, my cursor is just a plain old simple crosshair. But if I bring the, cat, the cursor in line with the cabinet, the cursor turns into a special cursor that has a hot point marker. The hot point marker simply indicates which type of hot point that the cursor is in line with. As we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that uh, the closer we get to the actual cabinet itself, the cursor icon turns into a little cabinet shape. Now that's also true for the wall itself, because technically I, the wall serves the type of uh, the same type of function graphically as a cabinet may. So that's one hot point marker. The next one that we're seeing here is a hot point marker that indicates that I'm going to snap or I can snap to the extremity of an object. So to get a better understanding of the different hot point markers, let's take a look at the help file in solid. Now the topic we're going to look at is going to be in CAD right here added new dynamic snapping with hot points and hot point markers. The lower portion of this topic discusses in detail the hot point markers. And here is a list that identifies the special cursors used as hot point markers. When you see this one, the cursor is snapping to the extremity of an object. This one indicates that it is snapping to the midpoint or middle position. This one would indicate it's snapping to the center of an arc or circle. This one would indicate it's snapping to the intersection of two objects. The cursor has one coordinate aligned with any of the snap points. Now this is one that you'll typically see very often because it could be aligned with any snap point. Editing cat line is extending along the original angle. That simply means if I added a cat line, and let's say the cat line is already at a 45 degree angle, and if I continue dragging that line, making it longer or shorter, and if I continue on the same line, the, the same 45 degree angle, then this here is the icon that we'll see for that cursor. The next one is one we also saw a lot when we were drawing walls. When we were drawing our walls, we had the smart line angles. And my smart line angles were set to 30 degrees, so every time I rotated the wall on a 30 degree increment, this special cursor would appear. This one, editing cat line, has a locked angle. If you look closely, you'll see that that cursor has a small padlock on it. And what that means is it's similar to this one right here where we edit the cat line along the original angle. This one means that the angle is locked. The next one here is cursor is snapping to any of the points in the editing shape. This is one that you'll see most commonly with a uh, polyline tool. This one we already saw is cursor is snapping to the grid. We also saw this one when we were using the snap mark mode that it would be snapping to a snap mark. 
and this one is the cursor snapping to the origin in the view. So let's go back to solid and let's take a look at some of those again. This one here means that this icon simply means that it can snap to any of the snap points in this cabinet. And this one means that it's snapping to one of the cabinet points itself. If we go back into CAD and we draw a circle and we get into the center of the circle, we can see that we're snapping to the center of the circle. If we draw two lines that intersect, and if we get near that intersection, this is what our icon turns into. Our special cursor indicates that we're going to snap to that intersection. So those are our hot point markers, and we've discussed the hot points themselves, and we've also covered smart lines. So we're ready to move on to section number two.